Hey guys, welcome to 25 for Pink KSP once again. Today, I'm showing you guys a rather large hydrofoil that I built. It's actually also sort of armed with a missile. There you go, it's rising up. And it's up. Let's just, see, let's just do a speed run, <coughs> see how fast it can go. The thing is, if we go faster, this thing will become an aircraft. There you go, see, in the past 100 meters per second. I'm going to go. I'm going to do a speed run, then slow down and get ready to deploy the missile. Oh god, that's not good. I'm pretty sure that's our maximum speed there. <coughs> Quick. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. But we're in... Well, we have another thing to. Oh yeah, we can't properly deploy it without without engines. Oh, never mind. Are we gonna deploy the missile? Gear up. So watch. <coughs> we have a full. We have a full tank of ore at the back. Cross weighs it down. Now so that. E even if it is buoyant, so it will float, it's going to float flat end down. Now the thing is, it's not buoyant. What's it? Oh, huh. Oh. And this is slightly... This is slightly more buoyant. Go with the Now, I say a sign, let's get ready to do a bit of an attack on the space center. So, you yeah, see, it's. There we go. Alayup. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Now it's down and head towards KSC. So, we're just going to deliver a short range missile to basically anywhere on curb as long as you keep the speed in check. Now it's. Go sideways. We're targeting the VAB, of course, because what else should we target? We're losing altitude, I know. The thing is, being we could probably convert this, make a conversion into a cruise missile. My good God! How up do I need to point? There's no. Because of course, we do not want to crash. For that. If I'm I really hope you understand why we do not want to crash. It's a missile supposed to hit a target. So that's the basic point of it. Come on, sideways. Okay, begin altitude, begin descent. Again, straightening out. There we go. Coming in over the launch pad. And. Yep! <laughs> Here. Oh, it's dead. Yep, it's dead. <laughs> Completely and utterly dead. My, we have this part of the K thirty seven B. I've, I'm pretty sure that's also part of the K thirty seven B. But yeah, well, anyway, it's over to launch. We have to hyper edit into the water. <coughs> so, state deployed, state deploy, deployed. There we go. Now, see a full on proper look. 
Mm. Let's launch an attack on a different type of route so we'll show like it's capable of more. It's capable of turning as well once we. Yep, there we go. Once we're up, once we're up, so to speak, we can. Yep, there you go. Easy turning. <laughs> you have to be very careful now. <coughs> I'm bringing down the throttle to two thirds because well we already saw what happens. We don't. Not deployed. I mean, not one state. Not deployed. Yeah. Just about there we go. And I'm hoping that we'll keep it from over speeding. That pushes down to one third throttle. I wonder if we have one third throttle and then we. Oh good, oh good, good. Yeah, wrong one. What just happened here? We still have engines. Oh, but we don't have. We, we've lost half the intakes. Alright. Deployed. Hold on. Can I keep make use of it? Okay, that's like the functional one, so shut down that engine. And then shut down that engine. And shut down that engine. And then shut down that engine. I mean, I'm pretty sure all engines have a fair chance. But it's not fully functional, but that's... Deployment? So that will speed on. It's been a good land up, by the way. Of course, we're aiming at that base. You know, whatever you want to call it. I have an idea on how to weaponize Red October. I will do it. Oh, God. Yep, we're not going there. Whoops. Anyway guys, that about I bought in twenty-five, that was a high foil. Goodbye. Yeah.